this, this video. Today I rise to address an oft forgotten segment of our society. I speak of Generation Z, who will be playing a substantial role in the next election. No, I'm not doing this and video. Generation Alpha, who will start to come of age the election after. It is for this reason that I shall now render the remainder of my statement using language they're familiar with. To the Sigmas of Australia, <laughs> I say that this goofy air government have been capping, not just now, but for a long time. A few of you may remember when they said there'll be no phantom tax under the government I lead. They're capaholics. They're also yapaholics. They yap non-stop about how their cost of living measures are changing lives for all Australians. Just put the fries in the bag, little bro. They tell us that they're locked in on improving the housing situation in this country. Chat, they I wasn't lying with today's title. They must have brain rot from watching too much Kai Sinat and forgot about their plans to ban social media for kids under 14. If that becomes law, you can forgo skull emoji all about watching Duke Dennis or catching a dub with the bros on Fort. Chat. Is this Prime Minister serious? <laughs> Even though he's the Prime Minister of Australia, sometimes it feels like he's the CEO of Ohio. Yep. I would be taking an L if I did not mention the ops who want to cut WA's GATS and services tax. The decision voters will be making in a few months' time will be between a mid-government, a dog-water opposition, mm. or a crossbench that will mock both of them. Though some of you cannot yet Wholesome vote, first -time I message. hope when you do, it will be in a more goated Australia for a government with more aura. Skibbity. <laughs> oh, straight facts, no printer. On God, for real, for real, that was good.